whenever you get a vaccine, the immune system absolutely needs a minimum amount of time to start building your protection. This could be the Calgary Stampede trend yet again. Alberta is hopeful that the show and other summer events will go ahead as long as Ottawa can keep up with its shipments of vaccines. But some scientists say those big post-COVID parties are closer to nine months away, even if we all get our first dose by Canada Day. After last year's cancelled stampede, tickets are on sale for Alberta's flagship event running July 9th to 18th, just after Ottawa's target to have all adults get their first dose by Canada Day. We should be in a totally different situation by the end of June and um, we should be able to proceed with a higher risk tolerance because the vast ma well, majority of adults by that time should have received at least their first dose. A provincial working group with organizers is developing recommendations for summer events, but some note a shot doesn't mean instant protection. It's important to understand that the, the final dose isn't the end point. The, the final end point is the last window of time that you give yourself to develop your own protective immunity. In guidelines released this week, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention says people are fully vaccinated two weeks after the two-dose Pfizer and Moderna vaccines or two weeks after the single-dose Johnson & Johnson. I would not be surprised if there are some limitations on crowd sizes, on proximity, on things like that. Um, I still have a hard time getting getting around in my mind how we could have like 25, 30,000 people sitting uh, cheek to jowl next to each other in the stands. At so those Canadian summer festivals may still go on, but hosting anything that looks like those pre-pandemic events may not happen until... Around January is the time that everyone should be in a good spot because if you do get vaccinated, say in September, and then you give yourself that, you know, perhaps it's 28 days if you get the J&J &J vaccine, then, you know, we're pushing to the end of the year. In Calgary, Crystal Ladarius, City News.